so. You bought the Imperial Light Cruiser and you're disappointed with the Darksaber. The Darksaber is one of the most interesting weapons in Star Wars and arguably one of the more iconic ones. According to Star Wars lore, any person who can beat the previous owner of the Darksaber in combat has the right to rule Mandalore and all of its people. As you may imagine, this makes it very valuable to many characters throughout Star Wars and places it in the center of many galactic conflicts. Now, this black-bladed weapon appears in the Mandalorian at the hands of Moff Gideon, an Imperial Moth who likely acquired it from Bo-Katan during the Great Mandalorian Purge. With a very Mandalorian-centric Star Wars summer wave, you would expect LEGO to include a Darksaber in the flagship set, Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser, which it did, but unfortunately, it looked like a satanic candlestick. But wait, 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 it's got a black blade, so it, it must be the Darksaber, in the words of the LEGO designers themselves. Let's be honest, all most people remember from the Mandalorian is that a lightsaber existed. So despite the price point of £150, all the set really needs is a lightsaber of some kind. And whilst we're at it, maybe this lightsaber could also double as Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, because, well, he's there and he's holding a lightsaber pretty clearly. Yeah, right, right, I'll stop there. After the community's response to this version of the Darksaber, it looks like we'll probably get something new in the future, but what would this be? Which brings us to the topic of today's video. Welcome to the LEGO Darksaber, LEGO's options and how to improve your own. Okay, so option one is of course what LEGO's been doing for the past nine years, the silver hilt on a black rod piece. It was first released in 2012's pre Vizsla Mandalorian fight set and has been used in two sets since then the Mandalorian Speeder, and of course the Moff Gideon's Light Cruiser. Now in 2012 this really wasn't all that bad, I mean they didn't have as big of a budget back then, but nowadays, well, not quite up to standard is it? Now option number two is where we get to the improve your own section of the video. It's pretty simple but it does make a big difference in my opinion. Over the last few years Lego has given us many more colours through the lights of the hill piece, such as black, red, and of course, gunmetal grey or metallic dark pearl grey. The sets that come in will often have spares. What you want to do is take your old dark saber and remove the silver hilt. Then find one of these spare gunmetal grey pieces you may have and add it to the blade. If you don't have one, they are super cheap on Bricklink and they come in any set with Kylo Ren except the tie silencer. It may seem simple, but that actually makes a pretty big difference, especially when you've had it displayed for quite a while. The colour scheme is now completely accurate minus the white flex on the blade. I've been displaying my Darth Maul minifigure for quite a while with this option and trust me, it does look much better. Over the past few years, Ninjago has been getting a lot of attention and therefore a lot of incredible sets coming out of it. Around 2018, these weapon packs started popping up in many sets, allowing for much more weapon customizability. They have been molded in many colours and have appeared in quite a few sets. This weapon for example has a katana shaped blade on it which would work perfectly for a Darksaber. Mold it in black and add some white onto it and there you go. This completely fixes the blade shaping issue, as well as creates a more accurate colour scheme. Well, except for the green. Now I don't have a very extensive budget, but I do have a little sister that can use Ivis paint very well, so here's a look at what the Dark Saber could look like with accurate colour schemes with this form. Whilst this option fixes the blade shaping, we still have the problem of the hilt being too thick. Option 4 will remedy this. For option 4, we'll once again be returning to Ninjago, since the theme's debut in 2011, there have been many new pieces introduced for the ninja's weaponry, such as the Sword of Fire, the Aeroblades, or of course, the Katana. Looks familiar, doesn't it? That's because the Dark Saber was inspired by the Katana in real life, so it has a very similar shape. LEGO has already done a silver Katana, and just adding a black blade to it would be pretty easy. I mean, they've already got a black Katana, why can't they just combine the two pieces together, or at least print some silver onto the black bladed's hilt? Or even better, they could draw moles from Gurma or Grey onto a black Katana. Here's a quick mock-up of what that could look like. Well, the shaping's pretty good, but it could probably be better, and there's only one way we can do this. No matter which version of the Dark Saber you look at, you cannot deny the blade is incredibly intricate and very detailed. The only way LEGO could properly capture this detail would either be to print onto the lights of a hilt, which would go terribly, so it would have to be a new mod. Now, before you call this unreasonable for LEGO to do, just hear me out a second. LEGO has done loads of mods more intricate parts and pieces for years now, such as the First Order Jet Trooper's helmet, Darth Vader's helmet, or more recently, the Dark Trooper's helmet. 
Looking at all those intricate details, I don't see why it's so difficult for LEGO to do this for weapons, to be honest. As I showed you earlier, they've already done this in Ninjago, and they've done it in Harry Potter with very small things such as the Golden Snitch. So surely they can do this in Star Wars, I mean it's pretty much just the exact same thing they're doing for other themes in this theme, so it's not really unreasonable, they've definitely done it before, they can do it again. Then again, this is from The Mandalorian, and not the original trilogy. And we all know how much LEGO likes pouring their budget into the original trilogy. So it's unlikely we'll ever see the Darksaber get its own mold. Which is a perfect segue into the next part of the video. Which of these five options would be the best option? Well of course a new mold would be the best, but it is also the least likely to happen. So I would actually say option number 4, it's got the most accurate shaping that LEGO's actually got as a piece already, and if you mold and print it correctly it would have a perfect colour scheme. A tertiary option would be number 3. LEGO's already got all the pieces available and it would be the right colours. But which of the options is the most likely? The less hopeful side of me says this is going to be what we get next. LEGO's already got both the pieces, it's very similar to what they've done before, it's just a slight colour update. That's not to say it's bad, it's just not as good as what we could have. So the more optimistic side of me says this will be the most likely. I mean, would it really be that difficult to mold that piece in black? They could also use it for Ninjago considering the next season will probably have Vengestone as a very central plotline, so they could use this as maybe a Vengestone blade or something along the lines of that, as I don't believe they've actually done this in black yet. Correct me if they've done that before in the comments. As much as I would love a new mold for Darksaber, I seriously doubt that's gonna happen. I mean, say what you want about MNR Productions, but his Hans Svensson interview is becoming much, much more plausible. What is a clone what? Actually, you know what? Cue the music. No, 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 way too upbeat. Definitely not. That's better. This isn't a hate video on LEGO at all, I mean this year for LEGO has been a mixed bag but this wave has picked it up completely. All the Clone Wars sets, the Mandalorian sets and even some of the prequel sets have brought out, I mean a freaking new CS Republic gunship would have been unheard of 5 years ago. It shows LEGO's been really listening to the fans, I mean they've been doing it the whole year with the price reductions, but that's a video for another time. This year have been so diverse for LEGO as well, remember when you just got OT sets for the entire year in 2018 and stuff like that, I mean this has really really fixed things and this is a step in the right direction for those styles. I only made this video so no And so concludes our video today. I hope you enjoyed our little look into the Darksaber and what it could be in LEGO form for the future and what it has been up until this point. I know I told you what I think the best options out of the five are for the LEGO Darksaber, but why don't you tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to join me on my LEGO collecting journey. Don't forget to turn notifications on so you never miss a video. Thank you for watching, I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to say. Good. Bye.